it's good to see you all and today I'll be showing you how I uh, preserve some dog broth for our dogs which I think in these times we really need to work out the economics of feeding a lot of dogs. We have quite a few and um, they're not very large dogs but even if you've got two large dogs, one large dog or five small dogs like us it's uh, important to work out in your budget for the future because of things going up what you can afford and how you can afford to feed those animals. So the other thing is too, I'm not really happy with buying in dog food. I like to know what our dogs are getting. So with our dogs, I make sure I make up all their own food all the time. And now I'm thinking more and more of how much can I store away. So stay tuned and watch the rest and you'll see what I have for you in regards to storing up some dog broth. have just $2 worth of dog bones in there that filled up most of the pot and then I had a hop of water and it's pretty cheap and it's not clear broth like we make for ourselves. A lot of people like to make clear broth. I actually don't. I like to make um, a lot of marrow in my broth. Well this is what the dogs have got and they've got lots of celery in there as well and um, just your pasta jars that's it sterilized they've been and the lids have been sterilized and we're ready to go. You're just gonna see me put this into here now. It's hot. I do it differently to a lot of people. I just um, boil that up. That's been boiled for, boiled for two and a half hours. And then I put it in here. Then I'll put it in my water bath, not pressure canner, water bath with these glasses for two hours. And then it's done. So let's go. We'll just have a look here. I'll get some of that beautiful broth out. Here we go. So I've got this old fashioned jug. I find that's perfect because it's got a really good lip on it there. So I just pull that in. And you can see it's really hot. I fill it up as much as I can. They don't seem to uh, leak out at all with these jars, which is great. And it's got a bit of salt in it for flavour too for the dogs, which is good. And they love it. So you can do any broth really, chicken broth, this is beef broth, and you can do chicken broth, fish broth. Um, I've never tried pork broth, but you can get the chicken carcasses from the supermarket or from your local butcher, and they're really cheap too. And, or if you've got someone that has, um, they don't use their carcasses and they've actually been killing their own chooks. Well, then you've got even better carcasses. They're a lot healthier for you. But these are just beef bones from a local butcher and it's local meat. It's not meat from somewhere I don't know, which is good. And like I say, it's got celery in it. So they've got a few greens in there, a bit of salt. And we will boil that up on in the water bath. This is looking terrific and there's lots of fat in there too so they need that and all I'll do is I'll just get those those jars out and um, add cooked rice to it and a few veggies and a little bit of oil because I have omega oils for our dogs too and there's a meal so there comes a little bit of meat there so I'll keep that meat in there and I'll um, can up the meat later. There is a little bit of meat on those bones which is good. But you can see that's a cheap and easy way to feed your dogs. Rice, rolled oats, um, any pulses you have. Rice is always cheap as we know. And um, we know what's in it. We know what they're getting. We, half the time we don't know what's in those canned uh, dog foods in the supermarket. Well, we know what's in these. Fill them up a little bit more. And it's coming on to winter here, so this will stand them in good stead. And I, I warm it up with warm rice, of course, and they have a hot meal. So our chooks and our dogs get actually hot meals on cold days, and it keeps their immune system going. I do add cayenne pepper to our chook food sometimes as well, because that keeps them revving in their immune system good. Now we need to get a little bit of vinegar here, as we all know, and just go around the tops here, wipe around there. 
that jug is fantastic it doesn't spill any out which is really good and nearly done then i'll go around the edges of them we'll put the lids on and these will go into the can go around the red bottom first there you go swap it over this is apple cider vinegar i'm using too which is um i prefer to use i've got heaps of it swap that around there's none around these really so i don't know why i'm really doing it but we know we do there we go yeah clean as anything anyway they're done now i'll put the lids on and get them into the water bath system and then once they're done i'll show you what they like but it's a really simple thing you can do um as i said fish broth too if you've gone fishing you've got all the fish bones well just boil them up and then can that up just in pasta jars that's all i'm using just pasta jars they're not fancy jars because a lot of people can't afford to get the really good jars now or they just can't get them like we can in australia i just need one more lid guys okay so that's in boiling water there i'll just let that one sit for a minute but how easy is that that's really easy and i've got all the bones here with lots of meat still on them so i'll pull that meat off and do probably about four jars of meat as well so that's um something i can do and uh that lid should be nearly right now pull it out carefully here we go they are hot, they are really hot. Voila! So I'll show you soon what my um, other jars look like that I did last week, which was lamb. So I did some lamb roasts and uh, we had some friends over and I had two big lamb roasts. One was a four quarter, lots of bones, one was a leg. So I just put all them in the boiler and Boiled it up for that certain amount of time I said, you know, two, usually two and a half hours I'll boil it up for, two hours, whatever, just depends. So that was already cooked roast, I got all the marrow out, everything, put it into the jars, you'll see that later. And then um, I water bath that as well, I didn't pressure can it, okay, so I put them in fowler jars. The Europeans do this way, as we know, people in the USA do a little bit different, but there's a lot waking up to, we can water bath meats as well so stay tuned and you'll see a little bit more in a minute so here is the lamb that i did in the fowler's jars from the lamb roast and you can see there's a nice bit of fat on the top there i think you can see that and uh that's enough that's all i need to put with rice for my dogs for their day's food and we've got uh, five dogs so yeah that's enough for them they're small dogs they're cavaliers and there's a little poodle there but um, yeah that, that's enough for them these ones here are a lot more uh, concentrated so than what these ones are so that's enough for them too mixed in with the rice like I said so there's the fowler's jars there's just your normal old secondhand pasta jars that have been sterilized uh, they have got new lids on them so um, I just find that some of the lids now don't really stay on and stick like they should so I bought new lids but someone actually gave the hint I saw and they said that if you heated them up longer in the boiling water and I always put a little bit of vinegar in my boiling water and you saw me touch them with my hands I have vinegar over my hands too so there's nothing living on my hands while I'm pulling them out and putting them on I find that a lot easier you can I have got the thing that magnet that pulls them out and I do that with the ball jars. But with these ones, I'm only touching the outside. There's no issue. And there's vinegar in that water there that I usually have there with the lids in it. So they're getting a double sterilization as well as boiling water. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And um, get in and think about how you can store food for your dog other than just buying it from your local supermarket. It's quite easy. There's other things I, I can think of too. You can make your own dog biscuits and just cryovac them as well. 
just uh, get creative and think about how you can cut down your costs as well as store up for the future. And we will see you soon. Oh.